Hey, welcome back to Crazy Wrestling Review. And I know it's nuts. I'm doing one tonight. It's Sunday afternoon, and tonight's Money in the Bank. But I want to do a last minute preview thing. What has happened? Didn't catch SmackDown this week. I never do. If anything happened, I apologize. But I, don't ch I checked the website just a second ago. It was a real rundown of what I think is going to win here at Money in the Bank tonight. CM Punk for Danny Bryan. This could go either way. And I don't want to put my finger on one person and say, well, this one's going to win, this one's going to win. But if I were going to pick anybody, I would say Daniel Bryan would possibly win the belt. But then I've been saying this for the past two or three reviews, so I don't really know. But I think I'm going to go ahead and still stick with my theory that Daniel Bryan may may pull one out of his ass and may walk out the World Heavyweight Champion, or WWE Heavyweight Champion. Um, another one is Sheamus for Salberto Del Rio. Do I even need to say anything about this match? I mean, seriously... They have been doing the promos horribly. I don't know if SmackDowns are better, but I'm assuming not. Uh, WWE just doesn't come off strong anymore. He, you know, they ruined him. That they, they really jobbing him, jobbing him at the I think two pay per views in a row, uh, and right before pay per views, jobbing him, making him look like very, very horrible. I mean, he looks like a you know, kind of reminds me of like a million dollar man back in the day, where like. People, you know, they adore the Million Dollar Man, but, you know, Alberto Del Rio is no Million Dollar Man, let me tell you that. Um, but, you know, Million Dollar Man had established himself before that, so people knew, you know, like, okay, well, if this guy beats Million Dollar Man, then he must be good, you know, but Alberto Del Rio has not established himself that much. So it's coming off as him being weak, so no one's going to believe that Del Rio's going to win the championship. Uh, you know, they could throw a swerve and give the belt to Del Rio, but I really don't think that's going to happen. Um... Now, if they do give Del Rio the championship, it'd be a reason to where they don't, they don't want Sheamus to look weak. So if Del Rio does win, then I could see somebody cashing in their briefcase and somebody coming down and getting the title off of Del Rio. That's the only reason I can see. You know, any way that Del Rio wins, if somebody cashes in the briefcase, it's over. Because they'll win the belt, probably. Uh, but we haven't seen anybody lose yet. Uh, then we got the Money in the Bank. Uh... Well, the first match right on the card will probably be the uh, the winning make for the world title, and I'm not really sure who to go with on the world title. Like I said, there's a lot of things that could happen. The more I hear them talk about, they haven't showed Cody Rhodes on TV a lot. I want to say Cody Rhodes is going to win, but I'm still saying that Christian's going to end up winning it just because I think they're going to try and rebuild his character um, from the ground up and really like give, try and give him a face run and try and make him a world away champion. Probably because they feel bad about screwing him over the past few uh, times, and they probably know his career is about over, and they know he can, you know, put butts in the seats. Because um, they know, you know, he is talented. You know, given the opportunity, he can talk on the mic, and he can wrestle. And I think he's trying to prove that he can wrestle right now, which he's, he's okay, but he's not the greatest in the world. Um, I honestly think in the next couple of years we'll see Christian go out the building, but I wouldn't doubt or go out, go out of the WWE and possibly go back to TNA or something. Um, but, you know, I, I think he had his time, and I think it's gone. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I, I'd say Ziggler or Rhodes is going to win this one. It's got to be one of the two. Um, if it's not, then it'll be a. But like I said, I think I think Damian Sandow will be awesome if he end, they end up pushing him and giving him the money in the bank briefcase. So there's a lot of options there. I can't really put my finger on one person. The four man, on the other hand, the, the WWE uh, money in the bank ladder match, it's going to have Cena, Jericho, Kane, and Big Show. Now you can argue that they're probably going to put make Big Show the winner, and I wouldn't doubt it. I think it's either going to be Big Show or Cena. I'll probably swerve more towards Cena because they probably want to give him the belt back uh, here soon since it's round in the bend, and I'm, he's probably going to be champion around WrestleMania time, so he may win the belt, get the money to be a briefcase, win it either at SummerSlam or you know, Hell in a Cell or something, and uh, or before Hell in a Cell. He'll probably do it on Raw, I'm assuming, uh, to make a big impact. Um, but Whoever wins it, they'll probably, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, then we got the uh, we got tag team champions, uh, r Truth and Cody Kingston on the preview show are going to be putting their belts on the line against Hunico and Camacho. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice if they would drop the belts to them, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Uh, they are getting bland, and but they've already been, a pro been in a program with... Uh, uh, yeah. Abraham Saddam Washington, whatever his name is. Abraham Washington said a little group there, so I don't think that they're going to get out of that little angle anytime soon. Um, 
if anything, they'll end up uh, getting screwed over by that tag team. And they'll, yeah, yeah. And they'll drop the belts to Hino Kamacho, and then there'll be a three way match at SummerSlam, and then possibly uh, Abraham's team will win the belts. I can see that happen. It could, it could happen. It could kind of happen. Um, I, I didn't want to talk about last week because I don't really think I got to post a video about last week's Raw really too much. Uh, Bob Backlund was on there. I kind of predicted Scott Steiner in the week four, I think, or something like that. I don't know. Because he put things on the WWE.com. WWE .com. I cannot talk at all lately. And uh, kind of made me think that they were going to do that. But um, yeah, not really not too much to talk about today. I just want to do a cool crazy wrestling review, TNA. Uh, didn't get to see you this week. Damn Viacom, you suck balls. Uh, I have Direct TV. If you don't know the storyline on that, there you go. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully you watch Money in the Bank tonight. Incredible. However you watch pay-per-views, hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you have a fun time watching it tonight. I'm sure it'll be a blast. It'll be unpredictable. It always is. Um, it's actually one of those pay-per-views I think we look forward to every year. Um, I do want to ask one more question before I end the video and to say when do you think they should have the money in the bank pay-per-view? Do you think it's the right time right now? Because you know, I don't know if it's really the right time in the middle of the year or not or in at this point of the year. Or do you think possibly they should get rid of Money in the Bank, bring back King of the Ring possibly, and put the Money in the Bank back at WrestleMania? Because I really do think that, not one thing is, do you think WrestleMania has lagged because of the Money in the Bank hasn't been in there lately? Because cause lately that has been basically the highlights of the WrestleMania, and now it's not there. It uh, kind of makes WrestleMania even more crappier than what it already had been, you know, with the ladder match, w with the Money in the Bank ladder match. So, you know, when they shouldn't have three in a year, that'd be ridiculous. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I kind of think in a way, give, give me your opinions on this down below, but uh, I think that pay-per-view should go away and it should go back to WrestleMania and maybe put like a King of the Ring or something else in there, like, a, you know, I don't know, Great American Bash, put that in there instead of, you know, what they got now. So, you know, maybe in place of Money in the Bank, put Great American Bash. Uh, that would be, I think, makes more sense. I mean, Great American Bash has a lot of tradition. Now, I know WWE doesn't really want to have WCW pay-per-views, but you know, I think you know that if they took one, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt them. And I honestly think they should bring back Starcade and put that in WWE's lineup. But I think for tradition purposes, I don't think they will ever do that. But it'd be cool if they did it. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, leave your comments down below what you think of this video, which which one comment any, by, by anything. Yeah, something, whatever. I can't talk at all. I'm going to end the video. See you later. See you next time. Later.